Yeah. You trying to me? Yeah. I got chest. Oh, Water is like that. I want to train chest. I want to train legs. See this outfit. In glutes. See this outfit. Yeah. Work. You chose it. You picked it up. Work. Work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at little babe's concoction over Thank here. You. She did all that, you know. I came up with the idea though. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You said that's what you wanted, but I've been new. I wanted that. I just <laughs> you just take me while you did. Then got the little. That wasn't there before. Got that there. I was like, she put the plant over there and then she had a plant right here. So I was like, nah, that's stupid. Cause she had that there. And I was like, nah, that's a little too chic. A little too chic. A little too chic. So I was like, put that plant you, over there. Did you get the new shoe wrap? You know what I'm saying? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. You know what I'm saying? And you know, so it's like, you know. And then I just ordered some lights. Gonna put some lights behind the TV. It's gonna look fire and then gonna have some lights going around you can see the top part we'll put some lights through there it's gonna run all the way through there down through there and then another light is gonna run all the way through here all the way through there so it's gonna fire we're gonna change these lights right here because we got this weird yellow tint that we don't like for like photos and video stuff and then we'll put like the weed I mean, not the weed, the switch and stuff, you know, the systems for when people are here. Got to have the systems ready just in case somebody want to get their ass whipped on deck. You already know. And then, I'm painting the arcade machine right now. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm doing something. I'm doing something. Like, don't, don't worry about that down there. I was just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I painted the black. It was red, still got to finish painting it black. And then kind of like doing this little shrine thing, you know. And I probably might hire somebody to come on. Uh, I wish I could like spray paint these, you know. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do that. But yeah, so that's that. House is looking cute. It's looking cute. It's looking cute, cute. You know, looking cute, cute. Are you ready to go? I'll be ready to go. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Alright, alright. Enough of the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. What's up, everybody? Today, I want to discuss what you need to be doing in order to increase your strength, whether it's bench, squat, overhead press, deadlift, and I think a lot of people tend to just forget about the basic movements. We, we keep searching up the fastest way to get stronger and, and we're just pretty much pushed in all of these directions when it comes down to this one exact thing. You have to continually push heavy amounts of weights. You have to constantly be in that prime zone of lifting a massive amount of weight for your strength to increase in all aspects of fitness, you know, squat, or squat bench, deadlift, whatever. Today we're focusing on the bench. Now, these are um, about what, four or five key exercises that I am doing to increase my bench press. Now, starting off, we have just a normal bench press. You have to continually do, to, um, do bench to increase bench. You know, it's just like, I think of kind of like the track um, you know thoughts like you, you want to get faster you have to run it doesn't matter how many exercises you do when you're sprinting you know for mobility or whatever if you're not sprinting you're not going to get faster so you same thing with bench if you're not benching you're not going to bench more it doesn't matter how many tricep push downs you do it doesn't matter how many um, you know even with dumbbell dumbbell bench press that still needs to you still have to continually come back to the regular barbell bench press to increase the bench itself now when i'm focusing on strength now when it comes to the bench i stay between four 
to six reps when I'm looking for strength. You know, I know in the past you guys see me, you know, benching out, trying to max out and stuff. You know, all that, that's just for entertainment purposes. But the realistic version of my training is from four to six reps on majority of my lifts. And we have one, one area from four to six reps, all right, which is gonna be our compound movement, the bench press. Uh, worked all the way up to 405 for those, for those, um, uh, worked all the way up to 405, which I thought I could get for four reps, um, but I was so gassed out simply because my camera was acting up, so I had to do two extra sets. The two sets that I initially started with with 405, I got for four reps, and then, but they were deleted, and I got like really pissed off, and I was just like, just throw the camera, just like, yo, I got so mad. And um, so these next ones, I probably only got for like three or two reps, uh, three or two reps uh, for these ones, which is not normal. Like I can usually do 405 for sets of four, um, but I was just gassed out um, from from the reps prior. Also, doing the uh, the bench press, I try to focus on being as controlled as possible. When doing the bench press, you don't want to just slam it down to your chest and then try to push it back up. That's what that muscle rebound is. And you want to kind of cut that muscle rebound out, that rubber band effect, in order to build pure raw strength. A lot of people focus on the, um, don't focus enough on the eccentric phase of a exercise. And the eccentric, eccentric phase of an exercise is actually what's going to help you uh, grow more strength. You know, the concentric, I feel like, is that muscle growth. You focus on the concentric um, motion of an exercise, you're focusing more on the muscle growth. The eccentric side is focusing more on that denser, leaner um, strength style, that muscle look. Um, so that's something you definitely want to focus on when doing these movements. Secondly is a unilateral movement. So for me, we are doing heavy dumbbell presses for sets of eight, you know, about four, four, three to four sets of eight reps working on core stability. And it also allows you to get in your, um, your base stance with your legs and really try to find out what will keep you stationary when doing this movement. Doing a heavy dumbbell set for eight reps, um, you know, with unilateral one arm at a time is really gonna test your men men mentality when it comes to keeping your core strong and embraced while doing your movement. Now, this isn't something where we're trying to grow our chest big. You gotta, you gotta separate the thought of having a big chest versus having a strong chest. I don't have a huge chest compared to my bench. You know, people look at my chest and like, yeah, it's, a, it's an all right chest, but it don't look like you can bench 500 pounds. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of that mentality. You have to separate. This is not about, you know, building the biggest chest, period. This is about building the strongest chest, period. So your arms is not, you're, you're not going to this 90 degree uh, flat out arm width. You're still staying in tight, just like how you would bench press. You want to stay in tight when you bench press. And that's how you're doing the motion with these um, dumbbells. Again, eight reps, six to eight reps, uh, as heavy as possible for about four, three to four sets. Next off, a press when pressing. Pressing is pressing. Regardless of what you're doing, you're still working that same motion to press. And what I feel has been something that has really developed my, my chest um, strength has been the overhead press. Working those front delts is really something that will transfer into having a strong bench. You have strong shoulders that can handle the weight of your bench because there is a big workload for your shoulders to take um, take a hold of. Um, you will be able to press more, and once again, you're still doing that same rep scheme uh, as we did on the bench, which is the that four to six reps as as, um, as heavy as possible. Just trying to push it out, just trying to keep that core tight, and really go up to that amount of weight that. You need to be at amount of weights where you don't know if you're going to get those last two reps. You know, that's how hard it should be. Working hard in those heavy rep ranges is where you need to be at. If you did a weight and you just breeze through it, you probably didn't do the right percentage compared to your max that you should have done in the first place. So when it comes to training with the overhead press, you should really be struggling. Sometimes you might even fail. That's a good thing. That At least when you fail, you know you can go down uh, a couple um, pounds and then rep, you know, get those last two difficult reps in. But if you're not getting to that point, then you're not doing enough weight. It's the same thing like when I trained my girlfriend the other day, uh, we were doing, um, what was it? You know, thrusts 
and I knew she could do more. She said, she told me she's not used to being in that zone to where it's like, I feel like I have to really work and push myself in order to, you know, um, like, like, how do I explain this? She told me in a way that she doesn't really know what it feels like to have those two really difficult grinding sessions, those sessions where you just grind those last two reps that you just don't know if you're gonna make it out alive or not. So that's pretty much how I would put it. You need to be, and those are, that's what separates the strength gainers, you know, right there. That's what separates you. You have to go in for that work. And uh, last up, I, um, how I bench is pretty, pretty close gripped. Um, elbows in tight a lot of I have tricep bench you know my triceps are like bench triceps you know so I have big triceps um, compared to my you know chest I feel like it so I constantly hammer triceps hard enough to not not to the point to where my elbows hurt because too much tricep um, volume and work will definitely cause elbow problems and if you do honestly people say you know what should I do do just take time off you know until it heals you know that's that's just simple and plain you just gotta take time off the heel because you're probably just doing too much work um that's taken away from too much work that's pretty much causing all this elbow issues so just stop simple as that if you got a problem with the area stop training in that area simple and plain don't try to work around it you need to wait until that muscle or that that uh, a joint is recovered doesn't hurt anymore let the inflammation do its job to recover that area um, but hammering the triceps hard and heavy, you know, I, if I could have done more, I would have did more, but I did a full rack of, uh, of, uh, tricep pushdowns just because it's, I felt like it's a little bit lower, um, um, a lot easier on my elbows than doing, uh, skull crushers. I would do heavier skull crushers, but sometimes doing that, doing the shoulder press and doing the skull crushers, I would probably end up, you know, within the weeks having, um, tender elbows or just like you know the, um, any type of, of tricep push downs or bench press motion will start to hurt my show, um, elbows so that being said you know four sets three to four sets of that as heavy as possible all right for repetitions you know just it, nothing nothing above 15 reps uh, keep it between like 8 to 15 reps I know that's a big gap but we're going once again as heavy as possible. You don't need to worry about a spotter or things like this. So you should be able to really grind out as much as possible when doing these movements. So these are what I would do for those who are looking to increase their bench press and uh, get a lot stronger. Also, if you want more, you can definitely check out the Bankai chest program. Yes, Bankai, got that from Bleach. Um, link will be in the description for that. Follow along, and uh, I'll catch you guys next video. Uh, back to a vlog. <laughs> Got your bar stools? Got the bar stools. They are a week late, but you know, they need it. This is the third time ordering bar stools because we didn't like any of the ones we got before, so let's just hope third time's a charm. I didn't see these ones. I know, these ones like. I know you don't. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> no, I showed you. Because I said we're not going to go with the back. We'll just go with the, um, the seat part. Uh. All right. What's that called again? Huh? <laughs> yes, it has to be. Remember, the other ones were too high. Oh, yeah, it's supposed yeah, to be yeah. counter height. You said you want your elbows on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So, <laughs> my project is here. I took the arcade machine, which was red. As you can see in the bottom, I still gotta finish spray painting it. Red, hit it black, and I'm doing like this, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing this, I don't know what I'm doing right now, and that's what I'm doing. So, this was like a, why is it cracking like that? Y'all see that? It's like cracking. Why is it doing that? I don't like that. Well, can I spray paint over that? Let me see. I 
ride with me if you ride with me You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? a little boy I wanted to be a hero the truth is when you get older sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hope they would so you gotta do what you gotta do handle that business believe in yourself create your own destiny 